Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Anton 26. What we have right here is a Lenovo laptop B590 and the model name is 2026. You can make a research over the internet. And what I'm about to show you today is something you have asked me at past because a lot of you have sent me an email and asked me to show you how you can change a regular hard disk with a brand new SSD. What else you have asked me to show you is how to replace a keyboard at any laptop and how you can recognize what is going wrong with your keyboard. So let's begin. Try to remember that for every mistake at your keyboard, the number one reason that a keyboard at any laptop won't work is the cable tape. So if some buttons don't work or if any button has stuck and shows up repeatedly and won't let you work with your keyboard, the number one fault is the cable tape. Now allow me to show you how you can replace your old keyboard and of course your old hard disk. I must mention that before you start you must remove your battery. Now in order to replace your hard disk and your keyboard you must remove the back cover and I mean this specific piece right here. So in our case we have one two screws we must unscrew them, one, two, keep them safe, now you have to slide back, then you lift it up and the back cover has already removed. Now the easy part, how we can remove our hard disk, one and only screw right here that we must unscrew and remove it. Try to secure and not to lose your screws because you're gonna need them. Now once again you lift it a bit and you slide it back. And here we can see a hard disk made by Western Digital with uh, 500 gigabytes of uh, storage. The series is the Western Digital Blue and we're going to replace it with that SSD. Once again made by Western Digital, once again with uh, 500 gigabytes of storage. There is a metal cover that helps you to plug it in at the right position in your laptop and keep it safe with a screw and by using this little hole right here. So try to remember that you have unscrew one, two, three, four screws. One, two, three four screws. Now you can easily remove the back cover. Of course you must return your old disk at your customer. Doesn't matter if it work or not. Secure every other screw. Here are the four of them. Now let's open up our brand new. Remove before installing. Of course, we're packing up the older hard disk. Here is our brand new SSD and the series is Western Digital Blue SA510. We're gonna slide it back at the metal case and we're gonna put every of those four screws back at the place. Okay, let's start over. One, two, three, Four. Now we put it at the right position very gently and when we are ready we push. Now what's left is to put back the one and only little screw. And we're done with our hard disk and now it's time to show you how you can replace your keyboard. And here is the tricky part. There are three screws that hold the keyboard with your laptop together. There is a little badge that shows a keyboard at the side of every screw you must remove. So the first one you have to remove is that one right here. We have another one 
right here and finally there is another one right here that shows you must also remove that screw one right here Here is the second one, and here is the third one. Don't forget to secure them, because later you're gonna need them. The number two, and the number three. Now you must roll over your laptop, and now you're not gonna need any tools, just your nails. It is very, very easy. And here is the main problem that caused all the damage to the cable tape. Now how you remove the cable tape? You must lift up this one. It goes like this. Unsecure and secure the cable tape. So let's do it. You lift it up and you pull back gently your cable tape. And that damage is the number one cause in every keyboard dysfunctionality. Like I told you before, there are three screws that secure your keyboard. And here you can clearly see them. One, two, and three. This is the old keyboard that we also gonna uh, give it back to our customer. Just like his older hard disk. And what we have right here is our brand new keyboard. Nice and shiny. Here we can see the same screws like the old one. One, two, and three. The price here in Greece for our brand new Western Digital Blue with a 500GB SSD hard disk was less than 50 euros. And the price for that keyboard, once again here in Greece, was something less than 20 euros. Here is what I'm telling you at the beginning. The cable tape is the number one cause for every damage at your keyboard. Check out how it's the brand new and check out how is the old one once again that fold right here cause all the damages now let's put it back in place once again very gently and when everything is in place you just close the black tab like this you dig those metal plates at their holes and you just push back very gently the rest of your keyboard just make sure that everything it's okay and at the right place there are three screws that secure our keyboard one number two and of course number three we put the back cover back in place just by sliding it very gently and we secure it with the last two screws one right here and the other one right here now we put back the battery we secure it and we are ready for the final step which is the test and to see if everything works properly so let's light it up We have cleaned it, we have removed dust and dirt from the fans, we have changed the CPU's thermal paste, and of course we have made a backup with every file that existing at the older hard disk, and we save them at the brand new SSD that existing right here. So let's see if everything works. Let's make a Word file. And of course the keyboard works great. Let's change language. Yeah. Caps lock. Great. Num lock. Great. So ladies and gentlemen, everything has done properly and works just fine. I'm going to shut it down and open it up again. There is no sound at all. This is a 10 years old laptop and it works just like a brand new. Let's shut it down and 
light it up once again because before I close this video and say goodbye to you I want you to see how fast it can boot with the brand new SSD check it out we light it up Lenovo the logo of Windows the name of the customer her name is Dorothy says welcome and ta-da this is how fast is a brand new SSD so that was our technical video for today thanks for watching guys and the only case that I'm telling you to hit the like and the subscribe button with videos just like this one that helps other people to fix their computers for free send that video to a friend that looking for help with his laptop stay safe be healthy and of course don't forget to make yourself happy because you deserve it thanks a lot take care see you next time